We're going to kick off part two of what happens if LeBron James, Giannis Antetokounmpo, or Kawhi Leonard would win the championship and what that would do for their franchise and their team. So here's part two. This is going to be what if Giannis Antetokounmpo were to win the 2020 NBA championship, uh, how would that affect his legacy and where he's at, and let alone with the Milwaukee Bucks. So basically, we're seeing right now the Milwaukee Bucks are number one in the Eastern Conference. They already got that locked down, and they're going to be heading off into Orlando to be competing against uh, the Eastern Conference. There's really no team, and everyone can pretty much agree that the Milwaukee Bucks are the clear-cut favorites to represent the Eastern Conference and to go to the NBA Finals. I've been stating that. I think a lot of cats can agree. There's some Boston Celtics fans to where they can be able to say that they're an X-Factor. They could probably... You know, squeak their way in. I disagree with that, but hey, let them have it if they want to. Uh, the Toronto Raptors, they lost Kawhi Leonard. They have a great foundation, but you need a Kawhi Leonard to get you over the hump, like in 2019, to go against the Bucks to beat them. Uh, so overall, we got the Bucks in the finals. I got them going against the Los Angeles Lakers in my prediction. If not them, then it would have to be the Los Angeles Clippers. Either way, I don't see the Bucks beating the Clippers or the Lakers in the finals if it comes down to it um, but in this scenario let's just say that the Milwaukee Bucks did win the NBA championship either against the Lakers or the Clippers so against LeBron James and if you also were to be able to beat him or Kawhi Leonard uh, that'd be huge for his legacy he's 25 years of age Kawhi Leonard just turned I think he just turned 30 or he's 29 as of right now LeBron's 35 so if you were to defeat Kawhi Leonard in the finals um, Giannis would have beaten pretty much the West favorites or the championship favorites overall. He would have beaten a top 25 player of all time, Kawhi Leonard, who just won the finals MVP and a championship. So that's huge on Giannis's part. And Giannis is 25 years of age. So if he were to win the championship, he would be the best player in the world, no doubt about it. He would have just won a regular season MVP. Most likely he's going to win defensive player of the year. And this would be an historic season for the Milwaukee Bucks. If he were to beat LeBron James, then pretty much you took down, arguably, people would say the greatest player of all time or a top five player or somewhere in that mix. So if Giannis were to beat LeBron in the finals with AD, um, Giannis, you have to definitely throw him up there as one of the greatest players of all time. Not top 10, but this is a huge pick if he were to beat them. And what does that do for Giannis? So greatest player of all time, no doubt about it. He would definitely stay with the Bucks. He would re-sign with them in 2021. No reason for him to leave whatsoever. And he would get that monkey off his back. Um, if the Milwaukee Bucks were to win the championship, pretty much this is going to be uh, a free agent destination for some players. You know, Milwaukee with a re resurged Giannis Antetokounmpo, who's won a championship. Players are going to want to be on the team. They'll take veteran pay cuts, and that'll be the place to go. And he would dominate the Eastern Conference for the next at least five to six years and seasons. Uh, we haven't seen the Milwaukee Bucks win a championship since Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Oscar Robertson back in the day. So this would be huge for the city of Milwaukee. Uh, pretty much kind of like the Toronto Raptors effect in 2019. So this is huge for the NBA if this were actually to happen. But the NBA is preferably wanting one of the Los Angeles Lakers or the Clippers to beat the Bucks. Um, but overall, this is a good concept of a smaller market to where players can be able to go there. Teams can actually, you know, show that they've won a championship with a smaller market. Uh, huge for the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, if they were not to win the championship, I mean, everything's fine if you're Giannis. You got your first finals appearance. You're 25 years of age. Um, there's not going to be a lot thrown at him. I know the media, since they want to hype up LeBron James if he were to win the championship, they would pretty much go after Giannis to pretty much leave the franchise and form a super team in Miami or pretty much just go to a different destination. So everything's going pretty much smooth sailing with Giannis right now. I know the media is definitely going to be a little harder on him, especially they don't want him staying in Milwaukee with no other free agents. The NBA and the media, they want some new moves going around. They want to keep things and the fans all you know engaged when it comes down to it. Uh, if the Milwaukee Bucks were not to win the championship, it's scary because now you have a higher percentage of Giannis leaving and you have that 2021 season to where you have to make a big move, maybe go for after Chris Paul or just a big move to get Giannis and the team constructed to pretty much be favorites to win the championship. If not, we expect him to leave, if so. 
So it's going to be a stressful 2021 season if you're Giannis and the Bucks, if you don't win the championship this season. But that's how it is. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. I think the Bucks realistically will lose in the finals to the Lakers. If not the Lakers, then they'll definitely lose to the Los Angeles Clippers. But this is a great learning experience with Giannis Antetokounmpo. I think this will be very similar to the 2012 NBA Finals. Giannis is kind of like Kevin Durant, which KD was around 22, 23 years of age, his fourth season, and he brought to uh, a Finals appearance. I think Giannis will go through that same learning curve, and this will actually develop him even better. I think Giannis will actually leave in free agency, probably go to Miami Heat for a team to form, uh, you know, contenders and stuff like that. But yeah, I got the Lakers being the Bucks in the finals, realistically. I don't think the Bucks will win the championship. Y'all you know, be surprised if they do. Kudos to Giannis if he were to. He would be on legendary status, either defeating Kawhi Leonard or LeBron James.